Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to review The Flash Season 1's third episode which has been titled Things You Can't Outrun. Now Barry is seen talking about the streak with Iris, telling her how he is not real, all while arresting an armed man in a vehicle for the cops. We also see the Darbanian crime family having a meeting regarding the losses and then a bald man is seen turning into poison and killing all one by one. Joe is also seen bringing Nora's murder's evidence and he wants to investigate with Barry again. Barry is then seen investigating the crime scene telling Joe how they all were attacked one by one as if the poison had its own mind. Now the team is excited about the case and they are now planning to create a meta-human prison but when Cisco suggests how the particle accelerator could be modified into a prison. Caitlin is seen getting uneasy as that is where Ronnie died. They also show us glimpses of the night where Caitlin was being asked by Ronnie to go to Tahiti. And here Cisco is also seen warning Dr. Wells about a thunderstorm, but he is seen dodging it easily. Everyone is happy and he starts the particle accelerator by injecting the particle. Finally, they did it. He is also seen opening a champagne, but then it starts floating. But when the particle accelerator explodes, we literally see Dr. Wells going to the time vault and turns out he was watching Barry being struck by lightning, so he was planning this all along, literally. Dr. Wells is also seen asking Caitlin to come with him, but then Barry is seen rescuing her, as he can take her help in identifying the gas. She is so much relieved by this. He then shows her the CCPD, where she is also seen telling Captain Singh how she is Barry's personal physician. And Cisco and Ronnie are also seen in a glimpse of the past, where Ronnie says how they have to shut it down manually. Here Caitlin is seen stopping Ronnie, but he says, Kate, I have to go. And he is then also seen telling Cisco to close the door after two minutes, and Cisco does that. Back in the present, Jess Teresa is seen getting attacked and poisoned, and she dies. Barry now also has to leave, and he says the same thing to Caitlin, like, Caitlin, I have to go. We also get a mention of the Big Belly Burger. He tries to punch the guy but he keeps evaporating and at one point he also gets poisoned where he is seen racing straight to Star Labs and he can't breathe. Thankfully they have a fresh sample and it is really painful as anesthesia will burn right through his metabolism. Barry is also seen thinking about breaking his dad out. Back at the speed lab, Kate and Barry are seen bonding again. Barry also apologizes but then he tells her how he can go down with her and that really does help Kate. They also identify the gas which is used in execution and they find out how it was Carl Nimbus. So he was taking revenge on the Darbanians and then the judge but now one more is to go which is Joe West, the lead detective, who is at the prison. He is also seen telling Henry how he knows Henry is innocent but then he gets attacked. Kate is seen giving Barry one antidote but Barry is seen using it on Joe and then they also tell him to keep running which weakens Carl the mist and finally they put him in a cell. Joe also figures out how Eddie and Iris are dating. It was such a good episode which tells us how there are things you can't outrun in life. You have to deal with it and live with it. Another optimistic episode. And now Barry says he will keep running to honor her mother's life. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. Also let me know in the comments what you think about this. Thank you.